안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today we are going to compare AWS versus Heroku and we're going to try to answer the question which one should I choose? Many people ask me this question because they don't know where to put their code when they are finished. They don't know which one is better, faster, cheaper and what are the differences. To understand the difference between these two, you need to understand two concepts. One is platform as a service, that is Heroku. The other one is infrastructure as a service, that is AWS EC2. Platform as a service is a place where, for example, when I finish my Django backend, I will just look at Heroku, create an account, do some stuff with Git, configure a little bit, and in less than five minutes, I will be able to push the code to Heroku, Heroku will understand it, Heroku will install everything, Heroku already has Python installed, Heroku will give me a domain name and everything for me in less than five minutes. That is a platform as a service. As you can see here, I didn't do anything. I just uploaded the code. That is a platform as a service, all right? It's a platform that is built to understand your code and you pay for that. You pay for access to that platform. Now, AWS EC2, Elastic Computing, Two is an infrastructure as a service. What that means is that you are not having a platform that helps the developer. They just give you the infrastructure. You pay for the infra infrastructure. What is infrastructure? A server. They give you access to a server. Most of the time, people choose to put Ubuntu on the server. You can choose between Ubuntu or I think Windows as well. And that's it. You have a server, a black box. Now it's up to you. To configure it, you have to install Python or you have to update Python. Then after that, you need to find a way of getting your code to the server. So maybe you need to also install Git so you can do Git pull. Or maybe you find a way to upload it with a zip. As you can see, there's lots of stuff that you have to do to get it ready. Now, you could tell me, dude, Heroku sounds better, 100%. Now, this is when we talk about the three things that could influence your decision. One, price. Second, time. Third, control. Let's start with the third one. Control. As I just told you, on the Heroku platform, on the platform as a service, I just uploaded my code. It already had Python installed. It already opened the ports and everything. On AWS, EC2, I had to install everything. One has more control of the server than the other. I cannot, for example, have a choice on the Python version, for example, of my server in Heroku. I cannot have a uh, say into what does Heroku use, Apache or Nginx. I don't have a say on this. On AWS EC2, infrastructure as a service, I do have a say on this because it's a server. I have more control, 100% more control. If I want to open the ports, if I want to close the ports, if I want to have 25 domains, if I don't want to have 25 domains, and I, I have all the control. It's just like a computer, all right? So that is first, control. In this case, if you want control, AWS. That's it, done. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. Second one, time. How much time do you have? Me, I don't have time. I value my time a lot. So sometimes when I don't have the time to learn about Ubuntu and Unix and servers and connections and ports and firewalls and all that, I always go for Heroku because I know that I don't have to know anything. I just push my code and it works. So Heroku saves me time when AWS infrastructure as a service might take time from me because I have to learn something new only to put my code up there on the cloud. The last one will be price. Heroku is never going to be cheaper than AWS EC2. The reason why is because Heroku runs on top of AWS. In Heroku, you pay for the server plus whatever they charge for accessing that platform that you are using that helps you so much. As you can see, price, control, and time. Ask yourself, how much money do you want to spend on your server? Ask yourself, how much is your time? Do you want to spend it learning AWS EC2 or do you don't want to spend time on that? Because also remember, time is money. So and at the end of the day, how much control do you want to have? Do you want to have control over everything, over the ports, over the firewalls, over the Nginx of Apache? Do you want to have control over that? That is your, that is your decision. All right. Now, surprise, surprise. Amazon is not stupid. So Amazon also made another product called EB, Elastic Beanstalk. And Elastic Beanstalk is a platform as a service, literally direct competition from 
Heroku. They are direct competition now. You will ask me, Nicolas, then that means that Heroku is dead. Well, actually, no. Heroku still is easier than AWS Elastic Beanstalk. In my opinion, I have done faster deployments with Heroku. I think it's a better integration. But if you still like AWS, don't want to pay extra for Heroku, and don't want to spend your time on AWS EC, then look into Elastic Beanstalk, AWS EB, because it might be what you're looking for. It's kind of fast, not so complicated, and the price would be still be lower than the one in Heroku. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for listening to me. I hope that you understood a little bit better the world of cloud computing. Let me know if you have more questions on the comments. I would love, as always, I would love to answer them. As always, eat the kimchi. Bye-bye.